How's it going? It's Paul Max C, and for no real reason at all, except for being bored or something, or needing attention, I'm going to show you, Atari fans, some of my manual and paperwork collection that I do have. Now, I'm a bachelor. I don't have a very big home. I mean, it doesn't look bad, right? But this is just a studio. There's no bedroom. There's no real storage except a closet out there. And, you know, I don't do a lot of baking. I do use my oven top. I make stir-fry pretty much every night, and I got microwaves, but I don't use my oven, and I need the space. So, I've actually got a bunch of manuals here for Atari and ColecoVision. Oh, and Game Boy Advance. Let's see what we got. Most of these are standard fare, but I do have... Um, a few rare manuals and uh, let's see what we got boy you must really love Atari if you're gonna watch this Superman in color breakout golf air sea battle space invaders let's take a look it shows all the different the manuals are cool I mean that's why I started buying them. And uh, I know you can find scores online, which made me consider selling these manuals. But I really can't get much money for these right now. Sometimes you got... And I'll keep them with me. Uh, Dodge them. Indy 500. That's kind of cool. I haven't looked at these in a while. Home Run. Notice I have them in some kind of order. Football. I tried to get a manual for every game I have. Miniature Golf. Hangman, color edition manual. But, you know, that's I don't always have all that. Video pinball. Kool-Aid Man. Then we're in the M Network series. Air Raiders. That one is worth looking at the instructions. Lock and Chase. Tron Deadly Discs. Masters of the Universe. Adventures of Tron. Not bad, huh? Frogs and Flies. Bump and Jump. And I'll probably do a review of that one soon. And plagiarize the Dukes of Hazard or something. Um, Super Challenge Baseball. I like this one. Me and my little brother played it. Armor Ambush. Too bad you need a second player to enjoy that. Because I think that is an underrated game. Dark Cavern. Astro Blast. Yes, sir. Then we got our uh, iMagic game, Star Voyager. Cosmic Arc. Demon Attack. Atlantis. Shooting Gallery. No Escape. Solar Storm. Fathom. If I got the manuals, that means I do have the game. Dragonfire. Now we got our uh, 20th Century Fox games. Um, Fantastic Voyage. I plan to do a review of that soon. And it's important to read the manual in that one. It really matters at what you shoot at. Mega Force. Here's kind of a rare manual. Not everyone probably has. Crash Dive. This is kind of a long manual, probably because it has different languages, because I couldn't imagine there being... Yeah, yeah, there's like French there or something. Les Controls. Beanie Bopper is a somewhat rare manual. Turmoil. Worm War 1. And Porky's. I... That manual might come in handy for a game that... I forget exactly what... How you play Porky's. Then I open up this. Boy, I got a lot. Maybe I shouldn't do this all in one video. I don't think anyone wants to watch this. Yars of Revenge. Yars of Revenge, the comic book. Howard Scott Warshaw, man. He's the man. Skydiver. Demons of Diamonds. Asteroids. The art. The art is a big reason why I have these manuals. It's awesome. 
Who was this artist? You guys know better than me. Defender. I always wonder about this girl. She's got some... She's got some boobs. Let's just say it right now. Space 4. Street Racer. Night Driver. This is classic art, man. Math Grand Prix. Look at that girl. She looks... <laughs> She's kind of homely. Haunted House. That classic Atari art. Basketball. Missile Command. I always wondered what was up with his helmet. Kind of looks like the top of my wiener. Outlaw. Pac-Man. I wonder what they have to say for themselves. It's all. Here's Pac-Man. We're like, yeah, here it is. Power pill and vitamins. I thought it was called a wafer. Yeah, wafer. Oh, wafers are what you... Are the dots. It's a vitamin, huh? It was okay to get Pac-Man. I was still excited. Star Raiders. Probably need that manual to play. Ooh, I got an extra Yars Revenge... Uh, um, the comic book. I'm going to make sure that's back with Yars Revenge because I like order. Warlords. Surround. Bowling. He's got to have that mustache, huh? Combat. What do they have to say about combat? It's probably... This thing's probably not worth a penny just because there's so many printed... Video Olympics. Human Cannonball. Still, I appreciate this art. Maze Craze. Berserk. I always thought that looked like Luke Skywalker. For some reason. Circus Atari. Super Breakout. Now I'm getting into my Atari games made by Coleco. Donkey Kong Jr. Smurf. Donkey Kong. Mousetrap. Frontline. Carnival. Venture. Looks like I got a duplicate, duplicate venture. Zaxxon. And we got over here, we got the Return of the Jedi with the corner cut out. Empire Strikes Back with that, uh, intact. Jedi Arena, fully intact. Frogger, intact. G.I. Joe Cobra Strike, intact. Cubert, intact. You know, you don't really need to buy manuals, but once you buy one, you're, you're kind of stuck buying more. Tutankham, intact. Amador's got the thing cut out. Super Cobra's got the thing cut out. Got Popeye. Got Reactor. Got Spider-Man. These things were produced by the millions, but... Millions don't probably exist so much. You know, I bet they were tossed. I actually got rid of mine back in the day. It's just that I reacquired them. Crossbow. Desert Falcon. Millipede. Stargate. Dig Dug. These are all Atari 2600. Pole Position. Moon Patrol. Crystal Castles, Vanguard, Phoenix, ooh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, that's probably a neat manual, I mean, it's a manual that you would have to, I think we read the heck out of this and we still couldn't figure out what you really needed to do, we, had, we figured it out eventually, still, great game. Look how it's got the Sphinx in the manual and the different things. I remember saying something about how you have to 
bribe one of these guys. In the black market, you'll find a bizarre assortment of characters, a raving lunatic to the left of the marketplace, a sheik selling bullets at the top, and a sheik peddling shovel at the bottom. To the right of the black market, the raving lunatic will kill you if you try to cross his path. If you must pacify him with something, or you must pacify him with something. I remember you could, yeah, you could, you could give him something and you, he wouldn't kill you. Likewise, the two sheiks want something for trade for their wares. Beware the sheik with the shovel. He doesn't come cheap. Yeah, I think it takes, what, two things of gold? It's cool. Hey, man, I like Where's Lost Ark. Um, I remember just going through this manual trying to figure it out. I just feel dumb because I couldn't quite figure it out. Ah, look how this part of the manual said, don't read past this unless you want more hints. That's good. And then helpful hints. I don't. I still don't think we figured it out until my brother went to his friend's house to spend the night, and then my brother came back with the answers. There's the manual for Kroll, and I probably should read that. Got Galaxian. Look at this. How to Win at E.T., the video game. By the Editor's Consumer Guide. I'll probably have to read that to... Um, because I'm getting ready to maybe play some E.T. again. There's Centipede. And, um... I had a couple ma rare ones that I was hiding well. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm realizing I've got manuals for every game I own. And I'm just not going to do this to you guys. But I've also got the Apollo games... U.S. games. Got one for coconuts. And space jockey. Got one Got one for cross force. That's a more rare manual. And I do have one for planet patrol. Oh, and then you got the CBS games. Got Mountain King. I mean, I these things have some nice semblance of order, don't they? I guess I have just a hell of a lot of manuals. For some reason, I thought this would be an interesting video, but I realize what I'm doing to you guys. There's Wizard of War. Just a hell of a lot. As for rare manuals, I have Bank Heist. I think that's kind of rare. And um, that's getting into my ColecoVision and my homebrew manuals there. And I think, I think I'll give you guys a break and just cut it off. But I do have um, tax skin and I have, um, um, oh, God, what's the name of that game? Um, oh, shit. A Threshold I have the manual for. And that one game, um... Ah, oh, damn. Alright, well, anyway, you got the point. I got a lot of manuals.